Christ, I look like Father Christmas. Need to shave that off. So today on this video, we're gonna be talking about a little box that I've bought recently from eBay. And it is a HDMI converter for audio. And what it enables you to do is actually feed this little box a HDMI signal from, I don't know, say a console, a, um, a PlayStation 4 for instance. Born out of the requirement for me, because I needed to get an analog audio signal out of uh, my PlayStation 4. Now, and that's been for two reasons. Uh, one of the reasons I'll go into now, uh, the second reason I will explain in a future video. So one of the reasons for me to need to get an analog uh, signal out is in my gaming setup here, I mean, I've got several gaming <laughs> setups in my house, but, uh, but the one I got here in my office, uh, next to my desktop PC, is for my PlayStation 4. So I hooked my PlayStation 4 up to my PC monitor. Uh, but unfortunately, to get sound out of the games that I play on my PlayStation 4, I could actually uh, use the sound output that I've got on my monitor. But it is absolutely gash, and why would I want to do that? I mean, it sounds absolutely flaming awful. I don't want to do that. So what I want to do, or what I have been doing, is routing the audio through to my PC through my 5.1 stereo system that I've got connected to my PC. Um, now, uh, up until buying this little box here, I've been doing that by uh, feeding the HDMI signal straight to the PC monitor and then using the the um, uh, 3.5 uh, speaker uh, uh, jack output that I have on my monitor and fed that into the line in on the PC. It sort of worked all right, it sort of worked all right, but there was quite a bit of humming on the sound. There must be some interference somewhere within uh, the monitor setup and it was, it, 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 it was just annoying me. It was just annoying me. And I wanted to find a way of extracting um, uh, analog audio uh, straight into my PC uh, via a different means and of course uh, with the PlayStation 4 uh, which is not like the PlayStation 3 is that you can't extract analog audio out of the PlayStation 4. Uh, what the PlayStation 4 does have mind you is an optical output but unfortunately on the PC here in my office I haven't got an optical input. So that was a bit of a, a um, that was a bit of a problem for me. So I needed to find a way of getting analog audio out of a HDMI uh, signal, and this box here allows me to do that. Uh, it cost about ten pound off eBay, and I thought I'd give it a punt. Um, I wasn't expecting any any great things really, but. It is a really good unit, and it and it does exactly what it says it does do on the box. So you feed it HDMI uh, uh, signal, so that will come from a PlayStation 4, for instance, and you've got to power it as well, but the actual unit uh, comes with a USB lead. So actually what I can do, and what I do do, is I power this up via one of the USB uh, uh, ports on my, on my PlayStation 4, so it's all self-contained. And on the other side of the unit, uh, you probably can see, you see that there, focusing, yep. Yeah. You've got HDMI out, uh, you've got your analog audio, which is what I need to feed into my PC, and also you've got an optical out if you want to use optical. If I bypass my, uh, my monitor uh, for audio and use this box, it plays absolutely fine there's no buzz in there it's nice clear sound i get i'll get 5.1 through this in respect to dolby surround and and it all it works really really well now when i talk about this in respect of another another video that i'm going to do in the future you'll see uh, specifically why i needed this for that other sort of i don't know project or task uh, but we'll come on to that 
in a future video. It's a very cheap way of trying to get analog audio out of a digital source. Not probably something that most people will want to do. It depends what your setup is, of course. And, and um, you know, a lot of people, if they've got a PlayStation 4 down in their living room, for instance, they might be powering it, sorry, they might be passing the audio through an amplifier, uh, which is what I, I used to do downstairs. Uh, and when I had a gaming setup downstairs, but I don't do that anymore. I don't really game downstairs anymore, to be honest. So this is a real uh, sort of specific way of trying to get uh, audio out, uh, analog audio for a real specific reason. Probably not a use to many of you guys out there, but I just thought I'd do a, a very brief video on it really to tell you what these uh, units are, how much they cost, and, and actually they're a real good unit. So, um, Hope you enjoyed the video guys and I'll speak to you again soon.